uh, several years ago, some uh, citizens of Garrett County and different parts of Maryland went down to the General Assembly and asked that before fracking would be instituted, they do a health study to determine the impact on the health of people where fracking is taking place. And they asked for a seven or eight year moratorium in order that the study could take place. The powers that be in the General Assembly then said they were not going to do that. There'd be no health study, and the moratorium would be two years, during which time the Maryland Department of Environment would prepare, would prepare and issue regulations. So fracking was on track to come to Garrett County. Engage Mountain Maryland decided that we would be part of that regulatory process. We began a search for an environmental law firm who would take on uh, us as a client to engage in litigation and file comments when the regulations were proposed. The group we found was called Earth Justice. They're an internationally known environmental law firm who, by the way, does work pro bono, which fit right into our budget. Uh, and uh, several of their members, uh, Neil Gormley, Gordon Summers, Lisa Furman, traveled to Garrett County, met several times with the board, and decided to take us on as a client. Um, when the regulations were issued by MDE, they were poorly done, very flawed, and Earth Justice went to work preparing our comments. They produced the, these comments there. They're a devastating review of the regulatory process as conducted by MDE and laid bare the fact that there would be no economic boom for fracking. That there would be great damage to the environment, to our way of life, and to the people who lived in Garrett County. We filed these regulations uh, with MDE on December of 2015 uh, with MDE and also with the General Assembly's committee, which is chaired by Chairman Roger Mano, sitting right over here.